Hi everyone, this is Anne Miranda. Today I'm going to read a book that was sent to me by a fan. It's called The Floating Rock, written and illustrated by Robert Conway. Down below the flowers, deep in the dirt, where few people look, something unusual is about to happen. Will the ants believe what they can see and touch? Or will they believe what the queen tells them to believe? Let's read and find out. Down below the flowers, deep in the dirt where few people look, lived a queen ant and her colony. Everything in the colony was going along fine until one day when a young ant looked up at the sky and saw a rock floating in the air. This was unusual, so the ant told the queen. The queen said, Rocks do not float, and dismissed the ant. The young ant told her friends. That night, other ants also saw the floating rock. The queen had no choice but to send up her soldiers. The soldiers formed a ladder with their own bodies, and soon one ant reached the rock. Soon there were more ants on the rock. They walked all around the rock, even along the bottom. The army went back to the queen and told her that there was a floating rock in the sky. They also told her that since so many ants were looking at this rock, very little work was getting done. Some ants were even beginning to whisper that this floating rock was more important than the queen. The queen thought all night about what to do. The next day, the queen told her army to build a mountain of dirt under the rock. In this way, the rock would not look like it was floating. This worked fine until the rain came and washed away the top of the mountain of dirt. The queen ant knew what had to be done. She called on her friend, the queen bee, and together they worked out a plan to move the rock. With the help of the queen bee's three strongest bumblebees, the ants tried to move the rock to the left. They tried to move the rock to the right. They even tried to move the rock higher and out of sight. The rock would not move. The queen ant told her army to rub blue flowers on the rock and make the rock the color of the sky. The rain came again and washed away the color. The queen thought about what to do next. The next morning, the queen made an announcement to all of the ants. As queen of this colony, I have decided that there will be a floating rock and that this rock shall continue to float as long as I want it to. All of the ants thought this was the most wonderful speech they had ever heard. They praised the queen for making the rock float, and all of the ants went back to work. Within a few days, the ants had forgotten about the rock. All that is, except for one little ant, who at the end of the day would look up at the rock and wonder. If you enjoyed The Floating Rock, look for a link in the description below and take a moment to like and subscribe to our channel and visit our website at www.annmiranda.com. Until next time, Happy reading!